on our spider guard, but now he's standing up. So we were talking about this. He's standing Sorry. up. Standing. Ready? So we get into position, and it's the exact same thing. For whatever reason, he stands up. I make grips on, on, on both sleeves, guys, and I'm going to start attacking. Now, the most important thing is that if he starts moving in a certain direction, I have to stretch the opposite side. So if he moves towards my right, my left side has to be extended. If he moves towards my left, my, my right side has to be extended. And usually this movement kind of helps me get into my uh, sweep position. So let's move back. So from here, I'm making contact on both feet and he decides to take a side step. He takes a side step, that's exactly where I wanna be. As long as I extend that leg, I'm gonna be okay. So what I'm going to do from his bicep, this side is not really doing a whole lot, that's okay. This side is holding him back from passing or getting around my guard. Now from here, I'm holding onto this sleeve and I'm never letting go. I'm gonna drive my foot onto the inside part of his leg and I'm gonna turn myself all the way under. Once I get to here, really important, all right? I get onto my back and I'm taking him and I'm driving him, him all the way over. Once I get to this spot here, once he's down, now I can let go of his sleeve. My hand comes up and we do our technical lift just like we've done before. We stand up to our foot, walk all the way through, and I end up somewhere on top. Does it really matter if I get to knee on stomach? No, I can get to side mount, I can get to mount, I can get anywhere as long as uh, we start, how can I say it? Or we started in guard, ended up on top. So again, from here, he decides to go one way or the other. He makes his, his decision, he takes a step, my foot can go into the side of his leg, and I'm turning myself until I make contact underneath his leg. Now, the more leg I get, the better. But from here, as long as I'm holding this, I'm still gonna be able to take him. Now, what I wanna do is really extend him past. And once I hook on the outside of his leg, he can't take a step back, I'm holding him. He wants to go, and I'm gonna keep him. This side, he's stuck. I'm gonna walk him really far. I'm gonna drive him. Once he falls, see what I did? Let go of the sleeve, put my hand on the mat. I'm still holding on to his foot because I don't want him to, to wander off and he needs this foot to shrimp. From here, I'm gonna come up to my foot, start walking, and I can get right into side mount if this is where I wanna be. Honestly, I prefer side mount, so that's probably what, where I would end up. But if you prefer uh, knee on stomach or you prefer mount, that's fine by me. It really doesn't matter as long as you end up on top. Does that make sense or not? Ready? One more time. Let's start here. So again, from position, we're already, or if he's on his knees, he gets up on his knees. Sometimes I make my entrance, just like we did at the beginning of the week. I step on his bicep, step on his bicep, and for him to relieve some of this pressure, he starts standing up. But instead of walking away or walking towards, he tries to walk around. When he walks around, I hook behind his leg. My foot goes from his bicep to behind his leg. I don't let this go. My hand goes underneath the foot. I get to position. Once I make contact, it's done. And all I need to do is kind of bend and extend. I take him all the way over. Once he's on the mat, I let go of the sleeve. I come up even to my knee and I walk myself all the way through until I'm on top. It really doesn't matter where I end up as long as I'm on top, right? Can I let him get back in the guard? No. Sure, it's fine, it doesn't matter. As long as I swept them, I, in tournament, I'm still in points. I don't wanna be inside guard, but if it happens, it happens, as long as I'm on top and he stays. How, how long do I have to keep him for me to get points? Three seconds. Three seconds, so as long as I count it, one, two, three, then I can start moving. If I get to this position here, that's an extra two points. You get sweep and you get me on stomach, as long as I keep my control, right? Does anybody have any questions? What is your the leg that's not on the bicep doing? Is it just watching the knee in place or the him? leg that's on the bicep? No, the leg that's not on the bicep. So you have one leg. On I'm blocking his leg. Oh, okay. So once I hook, I hook to the outside. I'm holding onto this bicep because that's the sweep bicep. The other foot just gets behind, and I don't let him step anymore. Once he gets a certain point, I'm going to grab his foot and I'm going to hook on the outside of his leg, and I'm not going to let him walk. He can walk. He can step backwards, but it's going to make the, the the sweep a little bit harder on him. Right, so if as long as I keep my foot on the outside, that's fine. So he's talking about this one, come here. So once he takes a step, uh, I can let go of this one and I hook on the outside. So as long as my foot goes on the outside of his leg, it stops him from moving towards me or even taking a step. I'm gonna keep him 
kind of at bay, all right? As long as I keep this control and I keep this control, there's not a whole lot you can do. You can try to step back, but it's gonna make it worse. I'm still gonna be able to off balance them, right? But I'm always keeping that hook active. I'm using this position to keep him there. And now from here, I kind of walk him all the way over, all right? Does that make sense or not? Anybody else have a question? All right, ready? One, two, three.